when you run an OR logical test. It's a completely different formula depending on whether the test is run on one or two columns. If you ask the OR logical test, is the product in the product column equal to Carlota, or is it equal to Bellin, that's asking a question of a single column. But if we ask the OR logical test, hey, is the product in the product column equal to Carlota, or is the sales rep in the sales rep column equal to Gigi, that's using two columns. And we have different formula options for each different OR logical test. We'll start off with the OR logical test running on a single column. Our goal is to add the sales when the product is Carlota or Quad. We can use the SUMIFS function. And in some range, we highlight all the numbers, comma, criteria range 1. We're asking a question of a single column. So we highlight product, comma. And because we're doing an OR logical test in criteria 1, we normally put a single condition, but with an OR logical test that's running on a single column, you just put both conditions right into criteria 1, close parentheses. And when you hit the F9 key, you see the results for Carlota, also for Quad. Since our goal is to add Control-Z in versions of Excel that are not Microsoft 365, you use the sum product function. But in Microsoft 365, you can use sum. And then you close parentheses, and that's the formula. If I change one of the conditions from, say, product quad to Bellin, bam, instantly it updates. Now that's an OR logical test being run on a single column. But if we're running an OR logical test on two columns, asking is the product Carlota or is the sales rep Chantel, from two different columns, the formula is totally different. In Microsoft 365 Excel, we can use filter. And we just say, hey, I want to filter those values down to just the ones I want, comma. And in include, we have to run an OR logical test using the addition operator in math and statistics. An AND logical test uses the multiplication symbol. An OR logical test uses the plus symbol. Now, in parentheses, we have to build our logical test. Hey, the whole column, are any of you equal to whatever product is in that cell? Close parentheses, plus, and then in parentheses, hey, all you sales reps, which of you are equal to whatever's in that cell? Close parentheses. Now, if we highlight the include and hit the F9 key, when you have two columns and an OR logical test, you can get either two falses, which is a 0. Those will not be included. Or just one of the logical tests comes out true. That's where you get a 1. But when both tests come out true, that's when you get a 2. That's why the definition of an OR logical test is one or more of the tests must be true. Now, filter and all of Excel, when it comes to logical formulas, understands any non-zero number as true. So that'll work. Control-Z, close parentheses. Now, if I hit the F9 key, those are all the numbers. And we need to add. So Control-Z, we put it inside of sum. And now when I hit Enter, that's the correct result. If I change this to GG, bam, we get the correct OR logical test total sales. Now here's your bonus. If you don't have Microsoft 365, inside the logical test of the IF function, we use the same OR logical test with that plus operator. And it evaluates F9 to an array of zeros, ones, and twos. And the if function, just like filter, will understand any non-zero number as true. Control-Z at the end, comma. And the value of true, we put in the whole column. Now, we're not going to use this last argument, because if you leave it out, the if function will insert a false into the resultant array. So close parentheses. If we F9 on the whole thing, there's our array, whereas filter just removes all rows and leaves just the numbers. 
here we get falses. And if we put this result inside the sum function, sum is programmed to ignore falses. So control Z, we put that inside of sum, and then close parentheses. Now here's the thing. If you have Microsoft 365 Excel, filter and any other array formula works perfectly when you just use Enter. But in older versions, if you have array operations like we do here, and the function argument, which in our case logical test inside of if, doesn't understand array calculations, then you have to use the special keystroke Control-Shift-Enter. Now some of you might be asking, well, why don't we just put this inside of some product? Because the if function logical test argument overrides the sum product's ability to handle array calculations. So we have to use the special keystroke control shift and enter to get that formula to calculate correctly. Also, you want to look up and make sure that those curly brackets are put in. Those curly brackets are automatically put in by Excel and tell you that it understood and calculated this as an array formula. If I change this from GG to Chantel, everything's working. Now here's bonus number two. Now most of the time you're going to use this construction because you might have many different products. But in this case, there's only one other product, a quad. So another way to get the correct answer here is if we use some ifs. There's the sales, comma. There's the single product column, comma. But here we have to use the not operator. And we have to put it in double quotes, less than, greater than, and double quotes. That's the logical operator for not. Then we join it to that cell right there. And because there's only one other product besides these two, when I hit Enter, I get the same answer. Now here's bonus number three. Guess what? There is a universal formula that we can use for any OR logical test, whether it's one or two columns. And this is the same one we used on two columns. And we can use the same construction when we have one column. The thing is, it's much faster to type out this formula than it is this one. In addition, when you really have an OR logical test on a single column, we're really comparing two lists. So in that case, you can use is number and x match. Now in some cases when you're using filter and you have a very complicated logical test with and and ors all mixed together, then you might use something like this. But otherwise, sum and sum ifs on a single column is the way to go. Now here's bonus number five. This trick for an OR logical test of putting multiple items into a function and doing a function argument array operation, it works for sum ifs, count ifs, max ifs, and min ifs, but it will not work for average ifs. So really, that filter or the if equivalent, that's a universal way to run an OR logical test inside of any aggregate function. If you tried this formula here, you get the wrong answer. And here's an example on our two column OR logical test. These are aggregate functions, and we just put filter inside of each one of them. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.